I want to start off this video by thanking you people who subscribe to the Cleater Vision deal. We met our goal and we actually beat our first day goal by 150% subscribers for the year-long pay-per-view Cleater Vision subscription. Thank you. We also sold a bunch of sod pods. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to crank out videos for you guys all freaking week. You guys are the best. Enjoy the video. It's going to be a lot of live action this week. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. All right, guys, we got old mullet in the shop. We got a stripped down short block because we had to send the heads out because the valves got tulipped. We got valves back today. We're looking at these manifolds. This side's not bad. Right yeah, this there. side looks good. We had no ring blowout. Yeah, this one specifically is the one that I could see chooching. Mm -hmm. They all look like they might have been leaking a little bit, so Sam is going to take a little bit of material off, flatten them up. Yeah. Get some body work, some body work your headers. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Put some Bondo on it, sand it yeah, flat. Bondo the header. <laughs> <laughs> we got the heads gone through. Listen, guys, I hate to tell you this. It's really hard to get valves right now. So we're running the same valves that we had in it before. However, fast forward race engines went ahead and made the valve seats wider. So the contact patch between the valve and the valve seat is wider, aka that should cool the valves a little bit more. But we're still going to creep up on that boost level. We do not want to tool up a valve because we have TX2K next week. So we got to get this thing back together. We got to test it. And then we're off to Texas as long as everything goes well. But the bottom end seems to be perfect. Got some copper head gaskets over here. Also, guys, we are converting to Rife sensors. Best sensors ever made. As you guys know, we had a ton of sensor failure issues on sick week. We are going to get rid of that problem and get that all fixed up. And... My carbon doors come this week, which I'm so excited about. That'll be 200 pounds off of this. And I've noticed you've been dieting too. I've been on a diet. Pounds. Dude, I'm trying to win this year. I'm not trying to, <laughs> no more losing. So we also got to get Ruby ready because she's going to Texas and we we'll get everything dialed in. Oh, also, Ty, what are we getting today? Where's he at? Oh boy. The moment has finally come. Dude. We got to put a hood on Ruby. She is finally getting a hood after years. I told you guys I was going to put a hood on her. I said it years ago. And we have to run a hood for TX2K. So instead of running cardboard, we're going to put the actual hood back on this thing that we have been dragging around shop to shop. shop. We're going to finally cut it up and put it on there. Obviously, it's not going to fit normal. But we're going to have, you know, Sam will do his job on it, clean it up. Ty will put some hood pins on this thing, and we'll be good to go. Should have 7 sixteenths of a hood in no time. It's going to be great. <laughs> How are you going to do that? Maybe a pin here, pin here, pin there, and a pin here? Yeah, it's going to be pretty small, but it's yeah. going to be something. So I figure we just cover this area and that area. And... Yeah, if we can get back in there and then kind of wrap it around through here, that's, that's really that all counts. we got. It's going to be like an L-shaped hood with two holes in it. <laughs> it's just like a completion grade, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're not going for an A-plus here. We're going for a completion grade. Trying to skate by. Yep. <laughs> Sam, you might have to buff it up. This hood's had a hard life. It'll be fixed up. You get get me the piece of hood, the L-shaped hood. It'll be ready to go. We'll get it ready. Well, the that's, the, that's the big thing. It made the move. It made the move. We almost threw it out. There she is, boys. Told you we'd come back for you. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Good thing we're only using a third of it. Clean. Clean, dude. Clean. Literally clean. <laughs> Don't even need to buff it. See if it'll fit on there, James. Just put it on normal. Yeah, you know, Corvette hood's open from the back. Dial, dude. Here's that. Just put it, put it right on there. Get it lined up. Almost fits perfect. Ooh. Look at that, dude. Stuff car. Never mind, Ty. <laughs> You're done, dude. The dirt's actually kind of nice because I can like. There you go. Trace it out. Get rid of that. Done. Boom. Done. Better idea. Hole saw, hole saw, hole saw. Cut the front off of the turbo. Put stanchions. Just Float. stanchion it, a floater hood, dude. <laughs> 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 All right, so guys, we also just got the go ahead from Frankenstein. They said, pull that intercooler out. We don't need that where we're going. So we're going to get rid of the intercooler, drop the intake down. We're a little bit worried that with how much freedom we're flowing, the intercooler is not keeping up. So. We're just gonna pull that sucker out. That'll ditch a bunch of weight intercooler wise, no intercooler tank, water, water lines, all that junk. Dude, and we I just go full race mode, dude. Myself now. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna lighten everything up. <laughs> race mode engaged, dude. Fire me up. Here's our brick. Man, this thing's mint. There's like nothing's gone through that. 
Yeah. Wow, so much shorter. Yeah, whole, whole boatload shorter. Isn't this basically what's on the C7? See, the C7 has got the low boy. Yeah, the low boy. So this still has a longer runner. Yeah. And then same top though. Cool. To get a hood on this thing for TX2K, they won't let us run without a hood. They didn't say how much hood we gotta have, hopefully not a whole lot. So basically what we're gonna have is pretty much this area, and I'm gonna try to get it up under here a little bit, and then wrap it around there and around here. There's no point on even trying to make anything fit back there, there isn't enough space there. So it'd be like a little sliver and it'd probably break off or be flapping in the breeze. So we won't worry about that corner, but the whole front side and back there, we'll do our best. Sam put on this thing, but I can't get tape to stick. Sam, what the heck did you do to this thing? <laughs> So after a whole lot of measuring and marking and transferring over back and forth and back and forth, I have our final cut, which is going to be right there, followed up radius, radius, radius. That should run right up the side of the engine. And then this is gonna be our hole for the uh, wastegates. And that is all going bye-bye. Hang it on someone's wall, maybe. This probably isn't gonna fit. What I did was I did an exact measurement and there's always a gap right here. And then I added like half an inch to everything. So I'm expecting that when I throw this on the first time, this will probably hit the engine. That will probably hang over the side. I way rather have this hit in a couple spots and be too tight in a couple spots and pull back that line than have a huge gap and there's nothing you can do about it. Also, fun side note, my Sharpie exploded. All right guys, a little update. We got the heads back on, the intake manifold without the brick. Definitely saved a lot of space. You can see it's literally level with the turbos. So we're a lot better off there. Intake manifold's on now without the brick. So we're gonna have to get Ty. He's gonna make a new aluminum pipe to go from here to there. And 
Probably gonna have to get him to remake this turbo kit eventually. Look, at the end of the hour. Mm. So this V-band right here, Ty mm -hmm. just informed me, is very warped. It's extremely warped. So. Extra, extra warped. I think we're gonna have to come to the point and come to terms with remaking this because this pipe had already cracked for mm -hmm. the wastegate and he had to patch that up a little bit ago. Yeah, but the weight of the wastegates, they're big wastegates they, and they balance and everything solid mounted. We put a lot of miles yeah. on it, so it's gonna need to get redone, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> the upside to that is when this turbo kit was built the first time, uh, Motion wasn't making those wastegate flange Merge yeah, pieces. the new mat, the new merge. And uh, now they do so, and I like using those things, so I'm gonna slap them on this for sure. Oh yeah. Then you've got things like this broken injector clips. So we're addressing and maintenancing a lot of things. This car's got to go to Texas 2K, and we want to win. Poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> we want to win, so we're cleaning it up. We're gonna get some new rice sensors put on here after I finish assembling this. I'm gonna assemble it and then take it back apart to retorque the heads after a heat cycle and then we'll go into wiring the rife tie will go into making the intercooler piping and hopefully we'll get it ready for testing thursday or friday Here's done, Sam. If you could just go ahead and, and, and clean this real quick for me. Right here, you see, well, what we started with here was it had a shiny place and had this hood, and now then we've got a place that needs fixed all over. We can do that. It's, this will be as shiny as this down here and that up there. Just give us a little bit of time. Be so the moment is here. It's getting a hood. You show me how this operates, brother. Give me the deets. New battery, dude. Finally stepping up in the world. 14 race volts. Car is getting a race car battery. <laughs> so if you look here, you got oh. five minutes of a brand new hood. Yeah, dude, brand new. Not a scratch on it. <laughs> so it's got, there's a way to it. It's got to go on like oh. a little bit of an angle. Anti-theft. Yeah, no one's getting away with this one. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful, man. Wow, look at that pitman and everything. All right, guys, the bumper is kind of falling off. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna work on that. Don't mind that. James may or may not have hit a pothole large enough to bend the uh, front little subframe attachment, so that'll get fixed one day. Well, you gotta, you gotta remember, Sam. This hood hasn't really been put through the uh, gauntlet with Jack Stan working around it. You know, like yeah, this bumper and the fenders have had James still for it's years. Somewhat virgin material here, so we got a few scratches in it. Yeah, it's not oh, bad. When we get done, it's gonna look very, very nice. It's gonna oh, match yeah. the rest of it. So All right. And what Ty got done with where we could yeah. have it on it with the buffer now. You gonna put a little, one more tab back here? Yeah, so I'm gonna make a, um, once I'm done with the throttle cable bracket on mullet, I'm gonna make a little piece that yeah. kind of comes up and over. And oh, okay. We're gonna stick one here and one here. And okay. then I'll hold it where it's supposed to be. Nice, dude. Clean one. setup we got going here. That really does look good. It looks a lot more finished well, than I thought it was. You gotta push that sure. down, but that really does look kind of awesome. Besides the hood gap between the uh, bumper and the hood, I mean, that's no big deal. We'll get that fixed, but I mean, it looks pretty awesome. Nice job, Ty. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, Ruby has a hood, so she is pretty much completely done for TX2K. Jackson's back here finally putting a racing battery in it. Other than that, we just need some gas for this operation and some ice. Fuel and ice. 
and breed them. Oh, we got new stickers too. That'll add 100 horsepower right there. 200. You know the deal. So, all right, guys, we're getting ready to fire up mullet, but uh, that'll end off today's video. Ruby is done, has a hood. Mullet is almost done, and uh, we'll be heading to TX2K shortly, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.